so excited. I just made myself a little coffee. I'm actually filming on a new camera, which was kind of my Christmas present to myself. I've had my Canon G7X for almost three years, and you guys know it's falling apart. So I treated myself to the Sony ZV-10 for Christmas, and this is my first vlog on it. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. I definitely have to like tweak some settings, probably get a external mic. But so far, I'm really impressed with it. But Merry Christmas Eve. Oh, I'm so excited. This is our fourth annual Christmas vlog. I can't believe it. And as per usual, we're just having like a very low key time at home. That's just like how we are. So today I need to run some last minute errands. And we're actually having a Christmas Eve party tonight, which is so fun with my family, Matt's family, and then our neighbors are coming. And I'm just so excited. Honestly, I'm so excited and then tomorrow we're gonna have a low-key day at home and I want to like start some new traditions so I think that will be super fun so anyways I just wanted to come on and say good morning I'm having a coffee I'm just watching some vlogmas in bed in my little candy cane PJs and we're gonna do some baking today set up the dining table wrap some presents it's gonna be like the ultimate Christmas vlog and I'm so excited to take you guys along so Anyways, I'm like, whoa, 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 I'm just so excited. So I wanted to come on and say good morning. I probably won't talk to you guys much like this morning because I'm just going to go out and run a bunch of errands and I'm pretty sure the stores will be super busy. So I'm super excited. Merry Christmas, our fourth annual Christmas vlog together. I can't wait. And let's do this. All right, you guys, I'm attempting to make Muddy Buddies for the first time, puppy chow, whatever you call it, but we couldn't find checks. So we got shreddies. We've got our peanut butter, chocolate chips, butter, and icing sugar. And I think I might throw some M&Ms in there, but I thought this would be really fun to have at our Christmas Eve party. I already like this camera so much because my Canon would have such a hard time picking up everything around me and I mean I can only see a little screen but so far it looks really really good but I don't remember the last time I talked to you guys I honestly think it was when I woke up this morning because I ran well first of all we spent the morning cleaning the house I feel like Christmas Eve it's like my favorite day of the well one of my favorite days Halloween Eve is you guys know my favorite day but Christmas Eve is so magical because like the anticipation of Christmas but as an adult if you're hosting I wish I could stay in my PJs all day and just like relax, but we had to clean the house up. I had to run a few little last minute errands. And so the day's honestly flown by. It's like four o'clock now. I obviously got ready for the day or the evening. And I have this cute little Christmas cardigan on, but it has jingle bells. So I feel like it's gonna last five minutes. So if you see me change, let's just pretend I never had this on, but we'll see how long it lasts. Last year we started this, I guess, tradition, and not really a tradition, we just like kind of offered to host, but we're having Matt's family, my family, and then we actually invited our neighbors as well. So we're gonna have a fun little Christmas Eve party. I'm so excited and I'm extra excited because I literally bought this super cheap camcorder on Amazon. It was like $50 because I thought it'd be so fun to try and get some like Christmas memories on the old fashioned camcorder. Like 
remember my dad having this out on like Christmas day and getting clips. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna see, hopefully the quality is like decent at least, but I'm, I'm excited about it. Just get some like B-roll throughout the night. And then we still, I still have some presents to wrap tonight. So I think we'll throw on a Christmas movie and just hang out, wrap some presents, obviously check the Santa tracker, leave cookies up for Santa, all that deal. And then tomorrow's Christmas. So I'm super excited, but I want to come on and give you guys a little update because I feel like I've been a little, well, I have been a little busy girl today. I'm not gonna lie. So anyways, that's the update. Let's see how long this Christmas would last. And also I'll link all of our previous Christmas videos down below because this is the fourth one. Kind of wild, but I'm gonna play around with this. I feel like the mom from Mean Girls. <laughs> anyways. Let's have a fun little Christmas Eve together. I hope this thing is on. I don't know if this thing is working. Oh, we have to change our Christmas countdown. There's only one day till Christmas. There we go. That's better. Baseball bat. Wiener. Axe. <laughs> sword. Gun. Long sword. Candy sword. Look at you. Sword. Long sword. <laughs> we have one dog sleeping down here, one dog sleeping in bed. I think that was a successful party, huh, Lila girl? I'm literally in the exact same spot I was when I talked to you earlier, but hopefully the camcorder clips made it in here I'm not too sure what the quality was like. Like I said, it was a $50 camcorder off Amazon, but I will say this camera I am blown away at the quality like I would have the hardest time filming with my Canon at night Especially with all these lights and I'm just really really impressed with it. So I actually don't know what time it is 9 9 30 everybody 9 15 everybody just left we had just such a great evening with family and our neighbors it was just so much fun honestly and yeah we played some games we had some good food we had some wine it was a really nice night and i posted about this on my instagram story a few days ago that obviously the first few years he was working shift work and he would you know sometimes work christmas day and so it was only in the last three years that we actually got to spend christmas day together i worked christmases like the first three or four years i was in healthcare, so i've only had Christmas off really the last three or four years too. And so we are just trying to find our traditions like as a small family. I'm gonna put this tea down, it's way too hot to drink. I posted on my Instagram about like what you guys do for traditions just so I could kind of brainstorm some. And I kind of realized we actually already have some. So on Christmas Eve, obviously it's our little family, me, Matt, Stella, and right now Delilah, who if you guys are new here is our foster dog. And we obviously had our Christmas Eve party, which was so fun. And I'm kind of carrying some traditions from when I was a kid, but we do the Santa tracker, like the like Santa tracker. We always used to do it as a kid. We would like get home from our grandparents and we would look and see where Santa was. And I actually have to finish wrapping some presents. I'm not gonna lie. I also might do that tomorrow because we have a whole day. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna do that tonight because they're for my family. We obviously leave milk and cookies and carrots out for Santa, of course. And that Stella doesn't like get it. She's literally a dog, but I just think there's something so magical about like leaving cookies out for Santa and Santa writes her a letter and I don't know. There's something just so magical about it. It's like healing my inner child, but I don't really need to heal my inner child if that makes sense. It's just, I don't know. It's a really magical thing. So we do all of that and we have started a tradition this year where we're going to watch Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. I feel like it's, like it's important to have a movie that you watch on Christmas Eve. So we can watch Santa Claus 2 tomorrow. And then on Boxing Day when I'm sad, we can watch Santa Claus 3. So I think that's a good idea. And then tomorrow we're obviously going to get up, have coffee. Um, I always like film our opening presents to each other because I just think it's really fun to look back on. Maybe we'll watch some of those older vlogs tonight. Actually, that could be really fun. And then we're going to hang out here for the day. And then we're going over to my parents for like the afternoon, evening to open presents and then have dinner. And I'm not sure if I'm going to include that in this vlog actually i probably will but then i'm because i'm doing like my version of vlogmas this coming week i think i might save like what my parents get us and stuff or 
for like our Boxing Day vlog. I actually have a gift from my management company. I guess I can open that with you guys. That could be kind of fun. I cannot, I feel like this camera is gonna change the game for me because I was never able to vlog at night before because the Canon G7X just, mine at least, did not pick up good light at night. But this is a game changer. But my management company was so sweet. And they mailed me over a Christmas present and it has my name on it and everything. Super excited about this. We bought some Balzacs, which I love. This is their anniversary blend. You guys know we're on a Balzacs kick. We literally have like six bags of it. It's so good. We've got the Youth to the People. I'm so excited about this. I've heard such great things. The Kale and Green Tea Spinach Youth to the People Cleanser, which I'm sure you guys have like seen on TikTok and stuff. I think her last name, but Rupi, who writes Milk and Honey. She came out, I guess, with an agenda, which is super cool. I love when it has a lot of room to write. So that's super exciting. Thought treatment. I'm excited about these. Some acne patches. Can't go wrong with acne patches. I love a good practical gift, you know? This stuff is so good. I love this whole line. The Aveeno Common Restore line is so good. I have super acne prone skin. This stuff is amazing. We've got some pens. It's like the perfect size pencil case. I feel like to go to like a coffee shop or something. We've got some pens in there. And the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. So that's super exciting. So shout out to Thomas and Ashley and Jess and my whole team at Shifted Digital for keeping me sane this year and helping me out so much. This was like, I love practical presents so much. This is awesome. So thank you guys so much. I wanted to open this because I had no idea what was in it. It's just been sitting under the tree for a few days, but I'm gonna change into some PJs and I am going to probably go back and forth between this camera and the camcorder, but the camcorder is just fun. I think the plan is to take you guys to my parents tomorrow, but then I'm gonna start a new vlog on Boxing Day because obviously we're doing a little version of Vlogmas. The Puppy Chow, Muddy Buddies, whatever you call it, was such a hit. It's not really a big thing in Canada. I've never seen anyone do it, so I was really excited to make that, and it was such a hit. Even our neighbor, Mike, was like, how do you make that? I'm literally making it tomorrow. I have the cereal at home, so that was super fun, and it was a big hit, but hopefully this is ready. Nothing like a cozy peppermint tea. We've also got the fire on. And honestly, we're just having a really cozy little Christmas and I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. Let's go find Matt and Stella, see what they're doing. And Merry almost Christmas. The last few years, actually, I feel like the last two or three years, we got the mystery packs or the Hallmark ones from Marvel and we have pretty much the whole collection. So I figured we would start a tradition on Christmas Eve opening new ones. And we, Matt's like even in his Christmas t-shirt and everything i feel like this is appropriate okay so <laughs> you can get han can get. solo and carbonite which is the rarest one i want to get there's a scout Wicked. trooper lando cowers in i'll open my first okay you go first who do you get <gasps> i got luke 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 oh my god they're so cute yeah, i just really love are. them I love okay let's see who i get you get it's the one I wanted! Oh, yeah, the one you wanted. Which what? one is it? It's a Wookiee, is it? Yeah, but they call it a Wicked. Wicked. Why is it called a Wicked? Is that his name? Do the same thing with oh, he's so cute. Let me see Luke. It's our new Christmas Eve tradition. Star Wars Marvel Disney. It's such a weird tree, but I'm I love it. I love it. Here. My little Wookiee. My Wookiee lives beside Iron Man, and Groot, and, and Loki. Loki. Okay, you guys, yearly tradition. We have to see where Santa... Guys, Santa Claus is going to Thunder Bay. We need to go to bed. Santa is coming to... Santa's in Ontario right now, guys. Santa is currently here, and we're down here. So we need to be going to bed, or else we're not going to get any presents. So we need to hurry and get Santa's plate ready. My dad growing up always loved Santa a beer, not a milk. He told us that he got tired of milk, so we're leaving him, we're leaving him a blue moon and hoping he likes that. Santa came last night. Looks like the rangers ate some carrots, he ate most of his cookies. He crushed a blue moon. Absolutely crushed it. Stella 
was so tired from playing last night that I had to force her to get out of bed. You guys saw, she did not want to wake up. We've got a piggy. We've no, she got... doesn't want to see <gasps> A bone. And what's in Sal's stocking? What's this? <gasps> Clean paws. Clean paws. No rinse, foaming paw cleanser. Gentle, fragrance free, and pH balanced. Oh, I like it. pH balanced. This is for your muddy paws so you don't keep ruining mommy's things. What is that, silly girl? Okay. Candies. The candies. It's a ring. I already got a ring. I'm not even wearing it. Break. Look at this bookmark that Matt got me. Oh, that's so good, babe. That's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute! It's a little Lewis keychain. So, is that smut? Mmm, <laughs> I love cream eggs. Some jingle balls! <gasps> Stella, are you gonna help me? Yeah, you wanna help daddy? Why is my stocking so deep? I don't know, honestly. When you sent me that TikTok about that couple that took all their wine labels off and saved oh, them yeah. from memories, look at the front of it. It has yeah. like a wine bottle on it. You could actually use it for recipes, yeah. but I thought it would be cool to that's keep cool. our wines too. Yeah, that's very cool. It says Carter Mac. Yeah, that's what I just said at the front of it. <laughs> oh, candies. Ooh, these are sour candies. Sour candies. So, where's your bone? Lila, Lila, you have so many toys. Jeez, let's still have one toy. So, oh, flashlight. Oh, smart. Yeah. I don't know how strong 200 sure lumens is, but... It's just to have one in case something happens, right? Yeah. He's so cute. Oh, this is from Stella Rooney. From Stella Rooney? Yeah. You want to come up? Come on. You have to hang out with your mom and dad. I don't make the rules. Come on. Then you can have another treat. Good job. Okay. Which one's mine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can get any of the prices off of literally That's anything. Fine. Like your mom is here. This is for your game room. Or the library where you put your stuff. Oh my god, is that a, it's a controller holder. Yeah, because you always leave your controller on the stupid phone chair. And like, well, it's going to look so nice when we're in that new room. And yeah. There's a bit more space and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. They had that order. Is it a charger? But I thought he looked kind of cool because He's cool. if you had a black remote. What is this? The immortal. This looks so cool in the library. That's what I was thinking. This is so cool. It yeah. has like a little glass dome on it. It was the only one that was it. really like, like, I was like, wow, that would fit nicely on her desk. This is so cool. It's like a Lego, but it has a, like a box, like a glass casing on it. That is so cool. I think the colors are very pretty. Oh, we need to think it's your turn. Oh, what's in it? Yeah. Avocado toast. If you know, you know. It's a dragon. It's a crinkle dragon. You love crinkle toys. I think you're up. so tired from yesterday. I'm still waking up, Mom. Oh, yeah. Big you missed a day for me. Yeah, well, these are here when you want them. From Stella's dad. Oh, wow, you really, I almost I, yelled at you yeah, there. <gasps> is this what I think it is? <sighs> hey, what am I gonna do if I change my last name? <gasps> Yay! Oh, that's, oh, this one is so cute, it has a coffee cup on it. Yeah. You can open it. I love this one because it has a coffee cup. Some of them are like so generic, you know? This one is like feels like it's meant for me. I wanted an embosser for so I just want to make sure it turned out nice. Long. Oh, is it more pants? Yeah, they're joggers. Oh, I but love I wanted to get you some from different brands because I wanted these are from Eddie Bauer, but I liked the oh material of them. Bauer. Oh my god, I know. Who? Or is that for you? This is for me. Oh shit. Is it for me? Yeah, I guess. This is Matt. Go off, King. 
I'm gonna open. <gasps> oh, it's a Star Wars puzzle. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <gasps> Amazing. You got a puzzle? I can't. There's too I much. can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my gosh. Nothing to rip over here. Oh, my gosh. I feel like. <laughs> what was the uh, first one you got me? I think it was a party as well. Man, Disney needs to stop making me cry. This is like so sweet. I got me a poly smelling candle. What is this? I feel like you don't have a signature scent. Like you don't have a cologne. I don't, because I can't wear cologne at work. I know, but like you don't really have a cologne if like you know you have like a date night or like Oh I'll so it's like it's a roots. Oh, it's like a sample. Sampler. And then obviously we have one. Like, no, I'm just saying you don't have like a cologne. What is this? Very cute. The Sephora Favorites Men's Deluxe Sampler. I was honestly kind of shocked at like how inexpensive it was. Like to make it fit in the budget. It was only $40. I feel like that's such a good gift. I actually got my brother one as well. I think that one. Mm. Versace Arrows. We did it! We did it! We had a successful... We had a good Christmas! And we stayed in budget! We did! Nothing. <laughs> I think around. Yeah. I did so good this year. Daddy did good! I, I hope I did. You did real good! Uh -huh, I really uh -huh, want to go uh -huh. back to Trader Sam's. Yeah. Now I understand why it's so hard to get into. It was so fun. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to use it tomorrow because Ruthless Vows comes out. Well, you guys are seeing this on Boxing Day. So yeah, Ruthless Vows comes out today. And I wish I could say I'm spending all day reading it, but I'm not because we need to finish the library up so that you guys can see that video or mostly finish it up so I can paint it or paint the trim, but I'm so excited. I think 2024 is going to be There you go. Oh, I'm so excited. I gotta go find a book to put it in. Yeah. This is a very fitting first book to emboss. I don't even know how to do it. Just... That's so good. Look. Can you guys see that? Yeah. It's so good. was your 26th Christmas? The 27th. <laughs> How was your 27th Christmas on this planet? Well, it was good. You forgot I was 26. <laughs> I just think you look 26 and not 27. It's a compliment. I appreciate that. Look okay. at those yummy cinnamon buns. I'm so excited. And we'll have some mimosa after. Hopefully you can't hear the dishwasher running, but it's about noon. I just got dressed for the day. By dressed, I mean I just threw on an oversized sweater. This one is from, I actually don't even know where this is from, but I can link it. It's like a little Hollywood Studios one. And we're gonna leave for my parents around 2.30 so that we can go over and open gifts before we eat dinner. And luckily my parents do early dinner, which is great. So we should be home by around seven o'clock, which is nice. I did a movie, but then I was like, I kind of want to do something. So let's do a puzzle, which was really fun. We'll do like a new puzzle every year. And then we can watch Santa Claus 2 tonight. You know, Matt has ADHD and can't sit still. So he's going to rip some drywall down in the basement. Merry Christmas to us. Too shocked he made it through like sitting down for a whole puzzle. That's like impressive for him. So I'm going to probably put on some YouTube and just wrap the rest of my presents. I love wrapping gifts. I love it. So I'm going to sit and do that and probably take the dogs for a walk. And honestly, they're pretty tired. Lisa has not moved all morning. She is zonked. Wrap the rest of the presents. And then before you know it, we'll be leaving the house.
We're going very comfy for dinner tonight at my parents. It's always a chill time, which is great. I've just got on this airy sweater and these are my wide leg airy pants, but I just like need to be comfy.